get Blair a new PC is there you see that awesome enforcer denial shot. Watch it again, actually. I'll show you one more time. All right. So sick. Yep. The boys have clicked in. So I'm going to start off with Zacubus this time. He's going to check the armor off of the sniper rifle lower spawn. Heads in, grabs himself. Not the boots because he's a second lake. Blair taking those and then launching himself away like a some sort of crazy jetpack bird. Zacubus now takes the sniper rifle lower. So he's got armor, he's got himself Ghostbusters gun. <laughs> Good shock Which we've rifle seen blast. Him use so much. Opening up on uh Blair. He's gonna take the armor again. Possibly the boots. He's wanna sneak out of here without taking too much damage and then get back to higher ground. And okay, next on the menu is the belt for him again. In UT4 the belt does not spawn right away. Uh, it oh spawns my God. sixty seconds after the map starts and utilizing that secondary pulse to his advantage. He's got yep. the frag just waiting for that belt to spawn. Belt's actually up right now. Like this was a hair too early to get it, but now Blaze in a lot of trouble taking a couple combo blasts. Surprisingly staying alive there as Accubus uses the opportunity to go consume the belt and take the armor where Blet tries to pick it up, but Zacubus just too fast and takes him out with, again, the, the uh, pulse secondary. Yeah, Zacubus doing a nice job of holding on to everything in the map right now. Thigh pads, I think, are the only thing he's lost so far. Blet forced to try and go aggressive here with the shock. Nope, backs up. Coming back in. Willing to take that aim battle. Actually hits Zacubus. Zacubus missing two shots here. Minigun pops out. Blaze actually down to 10 health. Zacubus opts to just take the armor and go on his merry way. Yeah, Zacubus is playing zone defense there. Pretty straightforward. Falling Blaze off. And he knows the armor's next up. And now you see him setting up to do the exact same thing with the belt. Checking the yep. time on it. Going to drop and consume the boots to keep those out of Blaze's hand. And the uh, power of control continues for Zacubus. Yeah, Blair checking the time on the armor and then backing off. Belt's going to go to Zacubus. Blair should know just kind of around when it was taken. Should know that it's gone now. It's going to come back in possibly for armor. Nope, a little late. Blair's still on 100 health and just lost his thigh pads armor. Oh man, this is bad news. It's going to hurt so bad. Oh, the perfect plasma from Zacubus. Blair caught. Trying to use that secondary. Get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> well, so you go, Zacubus. Oh, one away from the spree. He's starting off pretty, uh, pretty strong here. Yep. Just being methodical with his control of the map. And yeah, for yeah. those of you wondering, this is actually a crosshair overlay. There is no crosshair in spectator mode right now in first person. So I just basically copied the default and set it up for the stream overlay just to have something for people to focus on. So that's why, you know, when he switches to rockets, it doesn't go to the rockets cross. Placeholder, basically. Yeah. Blair right here standing his ground near this armor. He's got weapons now to fight with. He wants to get this armor and then make a stand, possibly for another shield belt. He's kind of hoping... No, no, behind him, Zacubus! Blair's going to need to escape. He's going to probably... No, he's going to take the armor off to jump at it. Misses the fall on it. No, boots are up, though, so he can escape. That just has so much health right now. 143, oh, yeah. 168. The stack. Is oh, wow. that rocket just domes Chumbo. Poor guy. No, that's Blah. Or excuse me, Blah. 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 That keeps taking a rocket there. The Blah is down five. Wanting to get a little bit more than just one rocket to knock the massive stack off of Zacubus. That keeps hitting Blah. Blah misses the armor again by just a hair. Takes it this time. 27 health only on Blair, though. Nice combo with the boots. Yeah. Brings Zacubus down to 20 HP. This is his opportunity and nice. hits that oh, shot. No. He took the amp. <laughs> we got an admin ruling here. <laughs> Blair is officially banned from all Oonwell events from here on out. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh, well, yeah, five, uh, for one. those who don't know, there is basically a gentleman's agreement in the duels to not use the uh, the amp. 
Oh, it's gone now. So I'm sure that was an accident, and it's just kind of one of those things that happens. Yeah, it, it doesn't last very long in the duel mod, just like the Redeemer doesn't spawn. But uh, see, that's I think that's the situation where we need to be able to drop the in. Since it drops when you die, you should be able to throw it. So right. if you picked it up accidentally, you can just toss it in the corner and not worry about it, you know? <laughs> yeah, so... Now, Flat actually at 92 health after picking up the armor and some more health packs. Nice shot right in the buttocks of Zacubus. Zacubus says, ouch, down to 42, back up to 55 after taking five pads. One A little early with the die. piston. Takes some damage, and Zacubus wow. steals it right out from under his nose. What a thief. Yeah, Zacubus with these belt steals. Perfect timing, and that sniper rifle shot on Blair. Blair was expecting a trap. Came back out backwards out of that portal, expecting Zacubus to be there. Zacubus getting the armor now, and has full map control again. 6-1. Zacubus has been on fire tonight. Yeah, really demonstrating uh, good discipline, good timing. And dare I say, good exploitation of the secondary pulse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, maybe not exploitation, but uh, demonstrating how overpowered it is right now. But at the same time, let's be honest, that's something that's valid and useful right now because we're in pre-alpha and you need to see mm -hmm. what are the exploits in the game. What will the highest level players be using to, to win engagements? Yeah, definitely. And it seems like the pulse... Using it on opponents that do not have a close range kill weapon, i.e. flak rockets, is just way too strong. I mean, he can grab him and just scorpion pull him to you and then just uppercut your face out of the map to some crazy fatality. And we saw it used again and again on ASDF against Reefy. Couldn't get away. Blet actually making the grab here for the armor, which is the play that he needs to make. He's got eight and a half minutes left, so coming in to try and steal some stuff away so he can make a stand is the correct decision. Does get the armor this time. Nose. Zacubus doesn't have the belt. Zacubus actually had a little bit of a health advantage, but Blet has the armor. Zacubus only with thighs right now. Good hit from Blet. This is the second shot. He just wanted to go aggressive. He can afford this, takes the armor away from Blaze. So now Blaze got to play a little bit more careful again. So I believe he's going to try for this next belt. For at least a kill if he doesn't get the belt itself. Belt up now. Blaze hitting Zacubus once. Zacubus at 75 gets oh, up to no. it though. He showed no, some fancy line. footwork with the, uh, the shock bubble jump, but unfortunately overshot it. Fell into the goo. He's been doing quite a bit of that, but I, I can't really talk smack because I basically live and breathe in the goo on this map. Oh, look <laughs> right. at the nice wall dodge by Blair. Takes yep. the belt and retreats quickly. Yeah, Again, Blair. showing off another option for, for taking that. Yeah, Blair now has map control. All he needs to do is get his health back up. He actually did left the belt up to secure the kill on Zacubus. Zacubus went to give it up, the belt up, and go take the armor. Zacubus now over at thighs, trying to get a little bit of armor. Blair. Now this is his chance. He's got six, uh, barely under seven minutes to work with. Definitely can come back. Yeah, plenty of time, and this is his map to do so. The thing about it is, I, I don't know how many reps he's actually got in U24. I feel like the most amount of reps he's probably had was when he was at the land playing it consistently. And addition to that, he was on a better computer than he's probably ever ever seen in his life, let alone played on uh, at right. the land. Because I remember he was so wild by the fact that he had 120 FPS. Yeah, definitely. Blair is. Yeah, I've heard he's had doesn't have the best computer. Yes, but potato he should be getting computer, one at some point. <laughs> yeah, Blair should be able to take this belt unless Zacubus does some more crazy things. But we've seen it tonight. Zacubus taking power ups and getting away perfectly. This time, belt goes to Blair. Blair's actually gonna go aggressive here because he's got the superior stack. Walking through that combo. Gets nice hit. defense by Zacubus. Oh no! Okay. That it's bank shot with the flak, that was a desperation spray there, I think, is I feel like he had the same reaction you did when Zacubus pulled out that link. Yep. Did Zacubus just block a rocket? I actually missed it. I couldn't see. I was watching for Blast perspective as well, but that would be quite impressive if he did. It seems like Zacubus is the type of player that he's really uh, just mastered all facets of the game already. I mean, he's just, he's the type of guy who's going to dissect the game. Yeah. Blair actually has to be careful here. Zacubus has a higher stack at the moment. 
because he's taking all the armor, both armors. Led trying to get away from this one. I think those... Oh, Led down to 33. Gonna have to back off. Foodies are up. Yes, okay, he can fly on out here. No! Zacubus with the perfect prediction. And that Faceful black is like a shotgun. And the follow-up. Two belts. That's a big time frag by Zacubus. It nets him two plus the belt, so he's got map control <laughs> with five minutes on the clock. The bio denied. Wow, that was a good shot. Bleh. Did not want to be down here. Taking some aim battles. Knocks the belt off of Zacubus, but... That Ooh, rocket, Zacubus. I think, did some damage. He's looking for the armor, but Zacubus surely wants to contest. He does. And that... I don't know. That's... That's tough, because Bleh had a chance there to really narrow the gap, and Zacubus weathered the storm and ultimately retook control. And look, he's so stacked again. 180, 148. Oh! He missed it. Couldn't tell. Ah, oh, missed the second one. Yeah, 148, Zacubus, 10 3, 4 minutes remaining in this one. Bleh. <laughs> I hope no one saw that. <laughs> Don't worry, oh. we, we will erase it from the archives, Zacubus. <laughs> yeah. Zacubus actually losing a whole bunch of health after taking two combos from Bleh, but gets himself back with those boots. And that's the power of the boots. You saw that jump to side dodge. Or wall dodge, flying over to the belt. Yeah, the uh, the dodge jump with the boots is it's really powerful. And to be honest, I like it. It's just such a cool mechanic that oh adds for such a an added element of surprise and speed. Good combo from Blaz. I can just actually down to 95. He can take this fight. Not in that corner though. He doesn't want to risk it there. Even though he's gonna have to get kills quickly because there's only three and a half minutes left. Oh, look at this. I thought he was going to land in the goo, but using that mid-air boot jump mechanic that we talked about earlier to save himself to get out of jail free card. As he continues to connect with the sniper rifle from distance, I love the defensive play that we see from Zacubus. Blair, okay. if he's going to want to take this one, has to start killing now, and he knows it. But he's just... It's so hard when your opponent is so stacked in this game right now. He doesn't want to get anywhere near that secondary. Oh, those rockets. And despite the fact that uh, Blaze has wow. been doing a good job of maintaining some power-ups, he can't he can't seem to close the distance. Oh, as soon wow. as I say that, the double. direct hit with the rocket as he gets traded by the sniper. Not often yep. that you see that happen. Yeah, reset. Bio. Oh, no. How did, how did Zacubus not die? I'd have to see that again. Anyway. So Zacubus has got the armor. I think that might be the backbreaker with 218 remaining. Bled knew he had to get the armor and then go ham. Could be a little bit too late. Zacubus has taken on all comers tonight. I mean, he beat Chumbo on deck. The Enforcer battle! Ooh, good shot. Denies potentially the belt. I'm not sure if it was ready to spawn. I guess not quite. But he does secure it for himself. Again, as I said, he beat Chumbo on this map earlier. Uh, it took quite a flurry from Pete. I mean, Pete was putting a beating on him at one point, and then Zach just came storming back to win the map. And now you see him winning convincingly against one of the best deck players of all time. I mean, looking yep. straight legit tonight is Zach. Yeah, Zach has been on fire tonight. I'd like to say if you were watching, Blair was shooting at Zach in that teeny tiny ledge, or like a little walkway down there underneath shield belt. And that's something that's really cool about this game in UT now, or UT4 now, is that there's a wiggle. So he was wiggling back and forth, able to dodge those sniper bullets, which I think is really important to have in an arena shooter as quick as this one. Yes, that's at a great point, absolutely. And it was a recent addition. Um, I think it came with the build right before the last event that they had. Um, and it was a build, it was a change. Wow, that combo from Bleh. He, whew, such a combo connoisseur, and I'm, I'm a huge fan of the movie combo, but again, showing off those off-axis boot jump combos. Yep. Bleh's well, got 42 seconds. I believe, the dream. <laughs> no chance at this point. Zach is gonna have, be at three and zero, oh, potentially queen, queen sweep tonight, if he can win the next matchup. But to finish my thought, um, I 
think it, that was such a big change because they knew it was going to affect the net code, and yet they made the change anyways because it was for the good of the game. I mean, at that point, they knew that the feel of the game and the speed of the movement was more important than the net code, and the net code, if it needed to be, would have to be adjusted to suit the movement, not the other way around. Eight, seven, yeah, and luckily, I think it turned out okay. The net code feels good when I fight. Um, I mean, of course, we're going to have to hear from the entire community with different connections everywhere. But uh, I think it feels pretty good because we played on a French server and I thought it was all right. Yeah, I remember just playing some Dom. It wasn't too bad. But, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously that's going to be an ongoing thing that they're going to be working on. I think the initial net code that we felt before they made the movement change and it kind of negated it was really good. So I have a lot of faith that it's going to be solid once it's all said and done, which is tough with a game that's so fast like UT because it's kind of one of those things that what, what do you balance you know do you balance the hit scan do you balance the projectiles do you try to strike a middle ground between both what's the cutoff point for ping compensation there's a lot of factors to uh to think about when you're building a net code around a game like this yeah it it's, takes a lot of planning and again like the the guns aren't balanced so you kind of can't determine the net code is it's perfect until the guns are balanced and then vice versa yeah so many they're going to go hand still in, in hand. flux the weapons the damage weapon switch time they haven't really messed with at all so yeah a lot of ground to be covered before you know we even think about that.